So, welcome to Dancing Rabbit. As you can see, it's uh, pretty rural out here. That's uh, another farmer's land over there. And uh, you see, it's just gravel roads out here. We're about uh, three miles out of town, I think. And here's the village up ahead. I'm recording this on my phone, so sorry if the video is too shaky. And I'm just going to do a, uh, a little walkthrough. Here's the uh, parking lot. Head on the, the left is the uh, bicycle shed. It used to be an outdoor kitchen <clears throat> whenever they first moved here. I think it was a pig shed or something rather. Anyway, they converted it to an outdoor kitchen and now it's just got a whole bunch of used bikes and everything. Down that way is uh, the vehicle co-op. So that's like the maintenance building where they park all the, uh, the co-op vehicles. Maybe they store some recycling and stuff in there. Here's the uh, dancing rabbit sign. Hammock swings. And... This is the inn. It's where I've been staying. Uh, the far uh, left window is the window to my room. That's the one I showed before. That is the uh, community building. Um, there's a big kitchen in there and some offices and play spaces for kids and big old huge living area. And that's a um, uh, other living space. Uh, it used to be an income sharing community that stayed here and they all uh, used that building, but now they, uh, they kind of rent out the upper level rooms and there's this nice kitchen and Couches and lounging area and all that up there. Up ahead, we have a couple of different buildings. What's this like converted silo here? Two different rooms. I think one of them's occupied. The lower level is unoccupied. There's a tiny house. Uh, you see the wood paneling. Then there's another little house, it's Connie's house. She's got the little aquaculture set up over there, uh, those tanks. And then that little uh, panel building is a three season rental. It's just got like three little rooms in it. And this is actually kind of the grocery store, the market. So we'll take, we'll take the inside. So you can see it's a um, shipping container actually. They build a little lean-to on it and put out some produce and stuff and as you can sell and you just sign out whatever you got and whatever you're buying and, and then you get charged later. They got some frozen goods in here. All sorts of stuff. And there's a whole, a whole bunch of grains and stuff in here. Grains and nuts and seeds and spices and so, you know, just rows and rows of the stuff and cooking oils down there. Some flowers over there in the corner. This is uh, run by one of the community members. He's a uh, private, biz private business. But it does mostly service this community. There is a uh, Mennonite grocery store about three miles away from here in Rutledge and they got tons of food and it's it's usually really cheap because they uh, they run it as more of a co-op for the uh, Mennonite community so you can get some really uh, cheap food and of course it's it's mostly just uh, raw ingredients and they got a, a huge upholstery shop in there and everything else so you can make your own clothes because it's what the Mennonites do. Oh, here we go. This is a little solar oven. 
There's another one, a bigger one, that I haven't seen in use, but they'll use that to like, I'm sure you can cook stuff, but uh, they use it mostly, from what I've seen, to like reheat food. So cook, uh, cook something the evening before and then heat it up for dinner. This, uh, <clears throat> the inn we just passed is actually used to be owned or is owned by the people who live here and that's a straw bale building and so is the inn is a straw bale building and uh, they've been here like 17 years or something other. And this is Casa and this is another community building. I think it's actually privately owned but it's got the, uh, let me see if there's anybody in here. That's a nice, it's kind of used as a community space, but we'll see here. It's kind of a dojo kind of thing going on in here. Yeah, a little stage and storage, not much, but it's used as kind of a community space. They do a lot of yoga and stuff and meetings of all sorts. Apparently there's a lot of meetings here, so everything is community run. So everybody's got different committees and stuff that they're on. Sorry, I just turned you guys around for a loop. Try not to do that. They burn mostly wood around here for heating. And you can see uh, a lot of wood been chopped. There's another uh, I think it's called timber frame back there in the distance you see the, the little red thing i don't think we're gonna go in there but it's um it's pretty interesting there's another community building i think we'll probably swing back yeah we'll probably swing back better swing back. way this works as I understand it is if you're a member you can lease uh, some square footage and then you can build your house on the leasehold and uh, you can use any extra space that you want to lease there's different rates there's like a, there's like housing rental rate and uh, acreage uh, and then uh, gardening so a lot of people they'll have their housing and then they'll They'll just do some gardening instead of renting a separate space for it. And then there's there's real like agricultural space, even lower rate. But there's all sorts of different uh, building types. Some people do really small, like natural buildings. Some people do green building. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All sorts of different types it's very much one of the reasons why they came out here was to uh, be in a place away from uh, building codes so that they could experiment with different designs and methods and everything and I can't remember, I can't remember that girl's name but I should but she lives in this is actually a bus it's a little bus and got the little green roof on top we're walking kind of downhill this since I turned off of the community area into this holler here and there's all sorts of little buildings and domiciles it's usually fairly cool down here hello a little um, cob or straw bell building back there apparently it was a, um, a community member that died of pancreatic cancer I think but, uh, this is a, another one of the community kitchens several of the kitchen well there's several different like community kitchens where people will go together to make food and uh, grow food and stuff like that and they, they got some chickens on the back here 
Little PM. And this area is mostly uh, rented out. So they have like the little walkway loops and stuff. And so they'll fill out a whole community of buildings. And then, uh, then they'll create another area. And one that they're filling out right now is uh, this other loop we're coming up on. And I won't walk all the way down it, but it's got a uh, several cob and straw bell and green building. Like you can see this uh, building here, and you can see something there. That uh, that one right there at the uh, the green roof uh, is really nice inside. It's actually got natural earth floors. And that one right there with the white roof is um, one that's under construction. Uh, there's videos on YouTube showing the walkthrough for that, but it's a, it's a round building. It's, being, it's really nice, but it's still under construction. And we got little hidey holes of where people were living. It doesn't look like that there's an actual house there if you take a close look. <laughs> So some of these houses use earth berms. They do that to kind of keep it cooler. Of course, being humid, uh, you know, being this humid climate around here, because this is a lot like Mississippi here. Um, you get those cold earth temperatures. And they don't really ever dry out, so you get some condensation issues and some mold issues and stuff, particularly with the earth berming. From what I understand, um, this is uh, it's called the Critter Co-op, and it's a kitchen, and it's also kind of a it's like a sub community here. But they've uh, they've actually rented out some agricultural space, so they specifically want it to be on the edge of the uh, main community, so that they could be right behind the uh, agricultural area. So there's there's actual. Uh, farming going on down here. They do some goat farming and I think they got a cow and they just they, they just built this shed. I think they're still finishing it out and uh, I think they said that they just got the straw bed but they're getting ready for the winter. But this uh this loop we're here going through here right now is still has lease holds that haven't been occupied yet, so they're going to fill all these out before they uh, open up another loop or whatnot. Hello. kitchen in there it's got like found wood and um, it's really neat I'm sure there's a YouTube video somewhere about it if you come and stay I don't know if we saw I think one tent platform it was a blue um, tarp over in the Tent. That wasn't like somebody living there, that was somebody um, that came here for the visitor program. The same thing that, that I'm doing right now. And so they'll, it's usually, I think, free. I think the tip platforms are free for coming to visit. There's some uh, things I made that are in this here tent. Not all, that top pattern is actually kind of unique. It's actually got a shed over it but they, you know they don't just do the uh, the hippie cob and, and straw bell they do, do some uh, green building and stuff like that so really energy, energy efficient homes I've been inside this this one this is called 
yeah, Lorena or something like that. It starts with an L. Um, actually, no, this is... I don't know the names of things. <laughs> no, yeah, the, the, the other one that starts with an L is over there with the, the green roof. Not the, the gray, uh, gray walls. It's Hobby and Anya's where they're staying. And then, uh, oh, Abby and Anya. And then that's, that's Hobby's place. I can't remember his wife's name. As you can see, there's there's spaces here that's still available to uh, that they're, they're planning on filling out. Hope you guys can hear this because I don't have a, like a special microphone or anything. But up this way is the path to the pond, and there's paths like all over the place. Um, but here's the uh, pond. We won't go down there because somebody might be naked. I think I have some non-naked hours, but I can't remember. You don't usually run into it, but you can. So. And there's a little shower and a thing. You go down this path here, and it goes to a nice, very clean uh, pond area. Been out there, and you get, uh, you know, 80 degree days or whatever, or more. We had a few days like that. This is about the first week was kind of mild, and then we had a few days spike up into the 90s, I think. And those are really nice. You go to the pond and and uh, and cool off real quick. Down this way, this uh, actually, this building right here is actually for sale. It's unfinished. They're asking way too much for it. <laughs> But uh, that's it. And you see, that's why it's all overgrown and everything is nobody's actually living there right now. And it's unfinished. And you see, there's uh, there's some solar panels here and there. Usually, like a, a lot of times, those will be specifically that house's solar panels. They do have some collective panels. But um, yeah, this is the uh, gnome dog. It's a, it's a cob building, but it's completely, completely encased in, you know, under the earth for the most part. And this is a Kyle's house. Um, it's shown on YouTube. I saw it's one of the first videos I saw of, uh, of this place when they were talking about dancing around it. And they were redoing the lime plaster. But, uh, that's his home. I think he mostly uses it in summer because it's... It's, uh, it's kind of an open air kind of place. It's really ornate, uh, as you can see in the, the stonework and stuff. It is like really decorative. And There's a lot of work in progress around here. It's not a bad thing in my mind. This is coming up ahead. So we just made a big loop. Um, we're actually headed on this, this little loop, headed back to the town center, to the uh, community center. And, uh, but this up ahead is supposed to be community center. So as the village grows, they want this loop specifically that we're on to end up being like the main area so you'll have this main path that we went through by the inn and everything so now we're going directly into this area that we're going to build a big huge like lead certified uh, building that was going to cost like millions of dollars and for obvious reasons some people disagree with that <laughs> uh, there's not a whole lot of income out this area so and then millions on the building. I mean, best idea. And so they kind of canceled the project. And that was those two trucks back there, the little thing back there. That's where they were staging the materials and stuff like that. And that's where they were kind of there. But you can see there's solar panels, and that's for the micro.
microgrid that they have right there. So they have their own like little grid that services the community. And it, um, and then they have uh, and then they connect directly. They do grid tie. They did have some battery backup. They were completely separated, but they went to a grid tie system. So good idea if you want to do something. Do solar for very cheap. They, uh, so they're doing grid tie right now, but you have like a little, you can kind of uh, buy into the microgrid and connect your house if you want. This is uh, going to be a new building. It's called Subhub, and it's, um, this is Straw Bell. As you can see, the Straw Bells. Be, uh, this is like going to be another little sub community for another member wants to grow a, another little community with its own set of priorities within the, the larger Dancing Rapid community. But um, apparently, started out with an, another project and, and she took it over. I actually uh, did a little bit of this work. What did I do? I did uh, this little bit. <laughs> Right here, oh, at least part of it, like right there in the middle. Um, just learning how to do this is lime plaster. Really neat. It was, uh, it was as easy as I expected it would be. It's labor intensive, but it's not hard to do. So long as you have some, some hands to do the dirty work, it should work out. This is a. Uh, let me turn this around here. This is timber frame. And this usually, they have rooms for rent in here as well. Yeah, this is the one I said earlier that was kind of off in the distance with the red. And I've only been in here once. But, uh, you can get it. We did end up out here, but it's um, it's, kind of, it's using like a, a whole bunch of different methods for housing and stuff like that. I won't go in because there are some other visitors that just showed up for like a weekend thing, and they may actually be in there. And I don't want to put anybody on video that doesn't want to be on video. But uh, let me. Uh, Actually, go back out the other way. So, this is somebody's backyard. That was a uh, Curtis and Aline's house. That was the one that was right by, by the inn. And those guys, I think they've been here like 17, 20 years, something like that. It's like the, uh, the old hands. They're really nice. And there are tent plant platforms like all over. So like all around this area that we just walked through, like those plat tent platforms. And uh, that's actually most of the housing available, which is good because it's cheap. But, yeah, and this is the main road back to the uh, community building. So this goes right back out to uh, the Welcome to Dancing Rabbit sign. And uh, I think that is it. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I, don't think I can video anything else that would be really intrusive. And uh, I think there's some other videos on YouTube that can show you different buildings and stuff. but. I have uh, I've been here nearly two weeks for anybody watching this and uh, this was the visitors program that I went on so they had classes like every day um, like three to four classes and it was on a whole bunch of different topics and most of the focus is on uh, 
just general sustainability and uh, eco principle kind of stuff.